Shadika Adams, um, hell, even, I don't know if Candy had anything to say, but I know her and Kay had problems. Candy Burris, um, Benzino, Shanika Adams, all y'all motherfuckers that said that this bitch was lying. I told you guys from the very beginning that she was never fucking lying. Y'all took that story that Bossa put out saying that Kay Michelle admitted to lying about Memphis being on her when that was never even the case because... All because she said she wasn't punched in her face, that meant that she didn't get her ass whooped. And every time she told her fucking story, she never said anything about getting punched in her fucking face. She never said that. If you look back on the Breakfast Club interview that she did back in 2012, when she basically sat there and told the whole story, she said that she was dragged, she was smothered with the towel. She was like, um, what else did she say? She was crying for help. She was bruised up. Everything that she said in the deposition, she said that on the Breakfast Club. Also, Memphis's cousin, who also ran this damn blog, I believe, she said the same thing, but she said that that didn't equate, that didn't equate to beating somebody's ass. Fucking abuse is abuse, and a lot of y'all motherfuckers are so hateful of this woman, and y'all hate K. K. Michelle so much that y'all can't even see what's right in front of you. The motherfucker did not have any evidence to say that she was lying. The motherfucker fucked himself up. Do you understand that? He sat there and admitted to smothering her. He admitted to threatening her son. Everything that she said he did, he admitted to it. What more proof do y'all motherfuckers need? Because I've been reading. The motherfucking shade room. I've been reading the shade room, and I see a lot of y'all still saying, "Well, just because she won doesn't mean she didn't. That doesn't mean that she told the truth." Bitch, what? What else does it mean? What else does it mean when he just sat there and admitted that he did all the stuff that she said that he did? What more proof do you need? He sat there and said that everything that she said that he did, he said he did. He admitted to it in his deposition. It fucked him up. What more do you fucking need? I don't understand. You, I mean, I just feel like the statement of, well, just because he lost the case don't mean that she wasn't lying. What the fuck else does it mean? It was proven that she was telling the motherfucking truth. Everything she said he did, he admitted to it. And all y'all motherfuckers are so hateful towards this woman that y'all can't even see what's right in front of you. He admitted it. So what the fuck you mean she didn't tell the truth? Obviously, she did if he admitted to everything that he denied doing for all these motherfucking years. And not to mention, it was stupid of him to even try to sue in the first place when she never said his name. He was never that motherfucking important for anybody to even know who the fuck he was. Now, those of us who was following K. Michelle long before Love and Hip Hop, we already knew who the fuck had beat her ass. I knew it was Mint Pits. I knew who it was from the very beginning. But a lot of us, a lot of you guys didn't know who K. Michelle was until she got on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So everybody tried to say, you know, why was she bringing up now after all these years? Bitch, she been talking about it. I, I've read countless interviews back in 2010 and 9 of her talking about it. If you listen to her What's the 901 mixtape, she got a whole song about him putting, her hand, putting his hands on her. Listen to the song What Kind of Man Are You? She's talking about him on that song. Listen to the song Testimony where she's discussed the situation on what happened that night. She talked about it years ago. But because y'all wasn't following her back then, y'all seem to think that she just wants some of the fame that Memphis and Toya got. What the fuck fame do they fucking got? Because Toya didn't have no motherfucking fame herself. Her claim to motherfucking fame was to be riding off tiny pussy that get on the show talking about how she was stealing over Lil Wayne. 
which is when all this shit was going on with K and Memphis during that time. So that bitch don't know. Y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. I've been following this shit from the very beginning. So at the end of the day, she won her case. She proved everybody wrong. Everybody tried to say that she was wrong. That man beat her ass and she had to fucking deal with that. And y'all sat there and said that she was lying. That's why motherfuckers don't like to come out with the, you know, come out with abuse claims. Talking about well, why didn't she call the police. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there that get abused by their men and don't call the motherfucking police. That's another way to fucking blame the woman for it. And a lot of people can say... Well, you know, Kevin Shad probably got up in his face and did this and did that. That's why he hit her. She probably deserved it. You don't know what the situation was. And at the end of the day, it don't motherfucking matter what she said or what she did. At the end of it all, nobody needs to, no man, rather, needs to put his hands on the fucking woman. At the end of it all. Because I can call a woman a bitch all day, but I would never put my hands on a woman. I would never do that. A woman tried to hit me at work. I told y'all about that last year on one of my bitch are you serious segments. The woman tried to run up on me and work with the umbrella and I still didn't put my hands on her. I had self control because at the end of the day I got a sister and I have a mother. And I would never want her to put, put their hands on them. So with that being said I would never sit up there and put my hands on the woman. That's something I would never motherfucking do. So at the end of the day he's a liar. He's a woman beater. Now he's fucked himself up because if he ever wanted a reality show he could never do it on any other Anything that's on the Bicom's umbrella, which is basically damn near every damn thing that's out there. So he fucked himself up. He fucked himself up. He had to admit what the fuck to what the fuck he did. And where's Michelle Brown from straight from the ass blog.com? Where the fuck is she at? All these people that was against her. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the shit that, that makes me upset about this whole situation. All these people was against this girl. Everybody was against it. Everybody brought their opinions in there. Everybody said something that they didn't need to fucking say. Everybody did. Not saying that K. Michelle is a victim because she got a smart ass mouth. She knows how to defend herself. But at the end of the day, everybody had something a motherfucker say about the issue at hand. Everybody said something like Memphis was their motherfucking man. You got Muppet jumping in. You got Toya defending her husband, which she had every right to do. But at the end of the day, defend your husband. Don't call me a motherfucking liar for telling my motherfucking story. If you're going to ride with your husband, ride with your husband. But don't speak on a situation that you don't know a motherfucking thing about. Rashida pretended to be this woman's friend. Went to every motherfucking event this woman had on Love and Hip Hop. Held her hand. Wiped her tears away. And after K. Michelle told her that she thanked her for not taking sides of the situation, I'm going to say, maybe he's not doing that because that's not something that he did to you. I don't need to do that. A fake ass bitch. And to this day, I cannot stand prone for that. And a lot of people can say, well, you're not another K. Michelle. No, it's not about me being K. Michelle. It's not about me being a stand. I like somebody based off personality and based off their and based off what they do. And Georgia Prone was a fake ass bitch for that. You don't come to my face pretending to be my friend and pretending like you're being neutral and all of a sudden you turn around and say, you don't believe it. That's some bullshit. And that's fucking insensitive to me and I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't hear any of these bitches saying anything because they ain't got shit to say. They friend lost and now they look stupid. Because the day the articles came out saying that Kay was a liar, you couldn't stop Tamar bitch ass from getting on Twitter. Ooh, liars, liars this, liars that. Bitch, please. Uh, from a bitch like you who was, from a bitch like you who was abused yourself, who was in domestic violence yourself, for you to try to downgrade another woman's story, you know what I'm saying? For you to tell another woman that they wasn't, that they didn't get their ass beat, you know what I'm saying? For you not to have sympathy for another woman is ridiculous to me. And everybody can talk about the last minute. Let me just throw this in because I know somebody's going to bring it up. I made a video about Tamar when she was crying about being bullied. And me being someone that was bullied, I didn't feel no sympathy for her. And I didn't feel no sympathy for her because I don't feel like she was being bullied. She picks with people. She throws shade at people. And when people throw shade back, she runs to her little corner and she hides. She can throw shade all day, but can't nobody throw no shade at her. She does it with her sister. She does it with Kevin Shea. She does it with a whole lot of people. She's done it with a lot of people. That's not getting bullied. That's somebody that can't, that's somebody who can dish the shit out but can't take it. So at the end of the day, you was on this damn mob, on this lynch mob against Kevin Michelle when everybody was coming, coming for her. You joined it and you didn't have that damn thing to do with it. So at the end of the day, ain't no reason for her to be lying. There's a lot of things in this damn situation that show me that she wasn't lying. How come she got out of a $2 million record deal didn't have to, and, and all of everything, and they still let her go? They still let her walk away without paying for anything. 
Why? Because he spent all the motherfucking money that he denied ever doing. But he also admitted that into his deposition. What the fuck? And his story is always switched up. Kay's story always stayed the same. Always stayed the same. Everybody, when, when she was asked if she got punched, she said no. She never said she got punched. And every story that I ever heard her do about the, and every story that she told, it was always the same motherfucking story. And that, and that story never included him punching her in her face. She never said that he did. But everybody thinks that you just got to get your ass beat like this in order for you to get punched. Dragging somebody up and down the damn, up and down the hotel room, y'all wrestling, he smothering you. That's motherfucking abuse. And that's a scary situation to be put in. And look how big he is over her. She could have been scared. All I'm saying is, y'all, I'm glad that K. Michelle got vindicated for this. Because everybody wants to paint her out to be this crazy-ass psycho bitch. Like, she didn't have no right to, to speak her truth. He felt some type of way, and that's why he got and that's why he got up and said something. Now he blaming Toya for not being on Love & Hip Hop. All of this to be back on TV. Nobody cares about you, Memphis. All your credibility is lost. You can never do nothing else ever again because you fucked up. The truth has come out. And now you want to say somebody paid the judge. You admitted to it, so how the fuck anybody want to pay the judge? And everybody, all these motherfucking K. Michelle haters, these motherfuckers, these Tamar fans, these K little Kim fans that still want to hate on her and shit. The thing about it is, y'all want to say, well, just because, you know, just because, um, just because she won the case does not mean that she wasn't telling the truth. Then what the fuck does it mean when he admitted to everything that, that she said he did? I don't get it. But with that being said, child, that's all I really have to say. Victory is K's right now. I love me some K Michelle. I will forever love me some K Michelle. And she never lets me down for nothing. And I will always support her and I will always ride for her. Always. And I will always call her out when she's wrong. But I've never, never, ever once doubted her story about domestic abuse. Because sometimes the loudest people are the ones that's been going through the, going through the horrible things. Some of y'all question my question me about being bullied on my last on the video that I did about Tamar because of my personality everybody questioned it but let me tell you something I was, I'm an entirely different adult as an adult I'm a different person as a child I was not the same way I was me being bullied is the reason why I am the way I am right now back then people used to used to taunt me and fuck with me sometimes tease sometimes tease me to the point where it got just a tad bit physical not to the point where somebody just Beat my ass, beat my ass. You know, the pushing, the shoving, the grabbing, the holding me down. Shit like that is what I'm saying, that it got physical. Some people think that because I said it got physical, a motherfucker beat my ass because I was running my mouth. Trust me, I did not have a mouth back then. So, you mad because I read Tamar for being bullied? You have no clue as to the things that I went through and it had nothing to do with my mouth. Now, if a motherfucker hit me in my mouth today, because, you know, if a motherfucker hit me in my mouth today, it is because of me running my mouth. But ain't nobody did that because ain't nobody fuck with me right now. But back then they did. So it's a difference. Don't let a person's personality fool you. Don't think that just because they talk a lot and, then, and they brash that they ain't never been through shit and that they ain't never been a victim of nothing because you never know. So with that being said, y'all, that's why all I got to say about this and I'm out of here, y'all. Can't wait to read the comments because I know somebody's going to read me, but I really don't give a damn. I'm out here, you guys. Peace.